All right, Battleborn, it's going to be a long video. We have a uh, piano at the end of this, so if you're looking for how to play uh, piano chords, at least the ending uh, chorus that they tag a lot, uh, it's going to be at the end of this video. Anyways, uh, thanks for the suggestion. As always, this song has always motivated me, has always gotten me out of dark times, so if it does that for you, I promise you you're not alone. We're tuned down half a step. As the killers love to do. I tried standard, tried a few different things with the capo, but I think it's best with E flat tuning, tuning down half a step from standard. Because we're going to be playing with this G shape, like we're kind of playing in G. In all reality, this is an F sharp, uh, as we'll talk about on the piano. It's going to have a lot of chords, but a lot of them that you should know and love. We can utilize a lot of open chords. So D, C, E minor, A minor. I have an F, but I have it shaped like this, like a little F, as I love to call it. Because then the next chord is going to be kind of walking down to what we're calling like this E over the top of this C. Alright, I have an A major, but I'm going to talk about the chords before that and how we're getting there, because it's going to be barred. Because we have this C minor, we have a G right after it, so I w would advise to do the G bar chord shape here. And then we have the A right after that, so, you know, just climb up. There is a D after that, but I like it down here, because as you can hear in verse 2, uh, they like to do the D sus 2 and the D sus 4 kind of thing, as you could always do on those D chord shapes. There is one more thing we have to mention, and that is going to be a walking tone coming from this A minor. I have it as slash B, because in our minds we're thinking this is going to be B, second fret of the fifth string, walking to the C. So A minor, slash B, walking to that C. Um, you can hear it a, a lot better when he's singing in the chorus, although it will be in this intro right before the verses. I won't go over uh, the tab, because uh, there seems to be a few available, so if you can read a tab, you can follow that along, but we'll talk about the chords. So in the very beginning, when they're doing the riff, the chords are going to be A minor, C, B minor, D. They go back into it, but they stop on the C. to that verse all right in the verse i i do like to have that f sharp over the top of that d but it's you know not really uh required i think it just sounds cool uh we'll play verse one all the way through chorus so you can slam on your guitar when ronnie does the bass pedal and then go right into that chorus which you kind of just played right in the intro but like i said it could be a lot easier i'm gonna try to play it and sing it but obviously it's gonna be a lot uh, easier to hear playing along with them all right so it might sound a little funky right now but up up against the wall there's something dying on the street in the verse 2, which we won't uh, do uh, verse 2 playing along with them because it's going to be the same as verse 1. I will do the chorus just a little bit slower, and hopefully that'll help you out. But like I said, just play along with them. And you can start to hear it uh, a little bit better. But um, Up against the wall There's something dying on the street when they knock you down Verse 2. Right, alright, like I said, I'm not going to play verse 2, same as verse 1, but like I said, you can hear 
the D sus two at the uh, end of that line, and your and your girls have gone wild. Um, does verse two? Uh, it tags the chorus twice. And then it goes into uh, an interlude. Again, you can do the lead parts. Uh, we'll uh, paste the tab, and I'll have it on the screen if you want to do that. It's going to be the same chords as the intro, though, so they're going to have A minor, the C, to E minor, to D three times. I'll play the last line here of this interlude because it threw me for a loop a few times. Um, it's not really that hard. It's just like uh, knowing where it's the D chord is at, so... Um, like I said, last line of the interlude here. It's gonna take more than a hand to turn this thing around to lead up the rescue, set me free up against the hop against the wall. Something dying on the street when they knock you down. Can I pick back up? going to have that sequence for the most part to the end of the song so we're going to tag that chorus a lot all right so they do that let's just count it up here one you'll see it on your screen there two see it on the screen three see it on the screen this last part though you never know if you never learn at the end they don't go to a d all right, so this last uh, line here, turn away, welcome home. And this is where you hear the piano part. And this is where you have to take note. It's kind of a quick turnaround. Once you hear the piano, you're still playing on the guitar, play along with the piano. It's gonna be your cue to keep on moving, keep on these chords going. It's gonna be kind of quick right after you turn away, welcome home. at the end so it's gonna have that four times two more times that we would have to play to get that total number of four so four times there of those chords I have the piano part, which is about two minutes, so we're almost at ten minutes. I don't think I could have made this any shorter, but again, man, appreciate this uh, song request because I'm telling you, man, this one is it's one of one of those songs that I can just um, listen forever, and it, it's it always helped me. So again, you're not alone. I promise you, you're not alone if this song just gets you going. I promise you that. But here's the piano part. Um, we'll see you in the next one. All right, the ending piano part here, if you want to match them, these are the chords that you're going to have to play on a keyboard. How you're really hearing it, not transposed at all. So what you're actually really hearing is an F sharp major chord. Right, and that's how you get to play it. Uh, so we'll have the chords on the screen, which are going to match throughout the song, the chorus, and the ending part here. So again, this is how you would match it on a regular keyboard piano no transposing whatsoever how i'm building these chords i'll show them off uh quickly so the f sharp how it is usually for the c sharp i'm just playing two notes here i'm just playing the uh from left to right the g sharp and the c sharp uh the b the first time through i'm playing a little bit different so left to right d sharp f sharp and then the b and then um I guess we'll just go in order. So again, the C sharp. And then the D sharp minor just is very quick for the jump. So I'm just gonna do from left to right, A sharp, D sharp. So it's very quick. Back down to your F sharp. And then the D sharp minor, I'm playing fully like this. G sharp, B and D sharp. And then all you want for the leading tone is that single note of the B flat. So second time through, the B major, I'm playing it how you normally would. Like that, the B, D sharp, and F sharp. Might sound a little high, I kind of messed around with it. Um, but nonetheless, if we go through it all the way through, it should sound something like this.
and then revert back again to your F sharp. So that's how you play it on a natural piano with out the transposing to make that F sharp to a G shape. That's how we're playing it on the guitar. So if you want to match it on the piano, you have to do the F sharp. Unless you have the capability of transposing it, like I do on this keyboard, you would transpose it down minus one. And then it would be what we played on the guitar, so the G. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Have some fun with it, but that's what I'm hearing.